If there's one arachnid people fear more than spiders, it's the scorpion. Following this bizarre arthropod are stories of desert killers and excruciating stings. But how likely is one of these strange animals to actually attack you? I'm Spencer Hoffman, and I'm heading deep into northern Florida wilderness in search of bark scorpions to find out just how aggressive these little creatures are. The longleaf pine forests of northern Florida are home to a wide variety of incredible creatures. This habitat is often overlooked, but it's among the most biodiverse in the world, second only to tropical rainforests. I'm on a three-day expedition hunting for eastern diamondback rattlesnakes, but today we're scouring dead pine trees for some of the more secretive creatures that call the pine savanna home. Now stuff like this is perfect for like pretty much anything you can get. You'll see snakes all around it, you'll see bugs all along this. Now, since this is burnt, there's not a bunch of bark on it, but what there is, is just a little bit at the base. And how we look for this is we just suck, gently peel it back, the teeth, and you put it back. And what that does is it leaves it for whatever snake. You don't want to rip off bark off trees. You're not going to be able to check it again, and nor is a snake going to be able to use it. The burnt pine bark creates a unique microhabitat that many odd animals choose to inhabit, including some of the gems of the longleaf pine forest. You know what you got? What is that? Ham decaying. What is that? Scarlet King. He's in shed. Is Scarlet King? Yeah. Look at the baby. Nice. He's in shed. Bright red head. They've got a really peculiar look in this area. This is a young one. He's, he might be two years old here. I don't know, but one out of three down, boys. I actually didn't expect to see a Scarlet King on this trip. I'll be real. Would you look at that? This is a cute little Scarlet King, a baby, and he's in shed. Normally, these are really brightly colored snakes. You can see that three colored patterning. Now, the only reason I'm holding this snake is because I can identify this as a Scarlet King snake. This is a mimic of another very special snake that can be found in this area, the Eastern Coral Snake, which is our, one of our only native elapids here in the US. And that would be a treat to find. Now, this guy was living right under the bark here. We've been actually looking under the bark here for scorpions and huge blue centipedes. We were not expecting to find this on a tree. We were hoping to find one of his invertebrate roommates. Look again and just see if there's not any scorpions back there. Nope. But uh, that is a special little snake. These are usually going to be eating little lizards, and this one would not be eating other snakes. Larger Scarlet Kings would be eating other snakes out here in the longleaf potentially even one of our big, huge targets, the coral snake. How about that? Beautiful little Scarlet King snake. We're gonna put him right back underneath his bark and let him go back to whatever the heck he was doing. The intermittent rain this time of year is perfect for activity under bark. Moist conditions mean the secretive animals that use it as cover have plenty of water to thermoregulate and stay hydrated in the Florida heat. Now there's no bark on this one, so no chance at cool snakes, but for these little crevices get you can find centipedes scorpions stuff like that i'd love to find a blue centipede oh look at this right in there can you see him that's a scorpion scorpions can be really finicky so i want to get him straight into a container get him under control if i get him straight out of this I'm not worried about getting stung. I'm worried about him disappearing on me. I can't see. I can kind of see. That'll work. Oh, he has a grip. There we go. Have a look at that. That. Is a little bark scorpion and this is something that strikes absolute fear into a lot of people these are one of the most misunderstood arachnids even more so than their distant cousins the spider see a lot of spiders we know are not dangerous but people think of scorpions as being super incredibly dangerous believe it or not here in north america there aren't any scorpions that can actually kill a human, at least not regularly. If you have a bad reaction or something, it could be deadly. But this is not something that usually is a problem. But what I do wanna show you today is that even though people are afraid of them, the scorpion is actually not out to get you. Right now, the scorpion is 
is walking all over me. We do not want to let him get underneath my clothes. Then he will sting me, but these guys are quick, running all over. Now the thing is, scorpions can taste at their feet, so we can tell that he's actually on another organism and that that organism is much larger than he is. He, does, he definitely sees me as a little bit of a threat, but you can see here, if you see the way his tail's at, his tail is not completely poised for a strike. So while he doesn't feel comfortable, he's walking around, see, there you go. He feels a lot more comfortable in the shade right there. But the thing is, as you can see, this scorpion can walk all over me without feeling overly threatened. You know, he's walking around, so he's not comfortable. He's not comfortable enough to really stand still for a long time. But he's not flaring his tail up in defensive posture. If he was doing that, I'd be worried. So he's kind of just moving around as he walks to kind of keep his balance. Because I am kind of hairy and it's not the easiest for him to maneuver over a hairy surface. So he's just kind of doing his best to move around and look for a place to hide. And I'm just doing my best to make sure he doesn't go in my shirt because that would cause problems. But yeah, just like that, you can see, walking over my skin, completely unhindered, the scorpion does not want to sting me. Absolutely incredible though. Beautiful, bizarre looking little creature, like something out of a, something out of like a, a dinosaur museum. They look so prehistoric or maybe science fiction or maybe a little bit of both. They are really incredible and relatively unchanged in millions of years of evolution. How about that? A scorpion. The scorpion is not the only secretive, creepy looking animal that's widely misunderstood. The centipede is also widely feared by many people, but since they're often avoided, many of their incredible secrets go overlooked. If you want to dive into the secret life of centipedes, check out this video right here. And until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.